Okay, guys, so yesterday I asked um, online and I got quite a lot of response just on um, uh, these these two plugs. So this one here seems to be an electrical idle control or EML or yeah, something similar to that. Um, and essentially, I can't find it on the, on the diesel, but on the petrol I've seen it. Um, you can go in here see this uh, little socket here and you can pull that out turn it and pull it back down and that controls your idle control so basically it's just got um, let's see if I can pop it off entirely here it just has little resistors uh, inside it that um, cause resistance and, uh, and as such you can then um, control the idle speed of the car which is kind of interesting and it would be good to have I, can't, I, I don't think there's one even though that system is on, a di on this diesel I don't see that same plug I don't think no um, so I think well, that's because that's an 89. Um, I think it's possible that it's on that system manually and on this it's controlled by that um, very basic computer. Uh, so that's one thing. Now, I was talking to a few different people and a lot, I got a lot of advice um, uh, on Facebook and the like. Um, and seemingly you don't need it. And I can tell, say it's an open circuit just sitting there so if I have that if I have this set to um, continuity and I touch both you see it's just an open circuit now don't mind the figure because it's, um, it's to do with how I'm doing it one-handed um, but anyway so that that's an open circuit so basically all you're doing to increase or decrease the idle is um, is causing resistance in the circuit but I believe this here um, can also control the idle manually so unless you're what you're wanting to um, really fine-tune it I don't know why you would need that maybe for the likes of the winter it might uh, Maybe it's linked in some way when it goes through this, the ECU to the thermostat, I don't know. But you also have, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you also have this control of the idle as well. Or sorry, of the timing. Um, so, you know, between the two you should be alright. This is an interesting one. So, I, and I think it could be something that could be utilised a little bit more as well. Um... This is a, um, I would say it's like a kick down switch or something. It's a throttle control switch or position sensor. So if I, when you're pulling on that throttle there, you might just, if I can get a camera in, the camera working there, yeah. It just opens and closes that. Now what I can't find is, I can find when, when the, um, when the circuit is open, like, or sorry, when the circuit is closed, when you have full throttle, these two that my my um, electrodes are on, those two um, basically bridge. These three, um, I can't find any. They don't bridge to anything else inside of this at any point throughout it. So it seems to be these two that bridge. Um, but maybe these have, um, they're giving out pulses or something like that for, for the ECU to understand. Presumably this is somehow linked to that main plug um, uh, on the gearbox. The big long one that we were looking at. Equally, it might be linked in some way to the um, bell housing sensor, this one here. That gives you your positioning or your 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 um your speed of the of the fly flywheel. Um 
Yeah, I anyway, know. Just a quick little update. I will add to this video later on today, just when I do a bit more work. Um, today hasn't been a great day for work. It's just been a case of trying to get that lift working, uh, which when you don't know anything about uh, lifts is a bit of a challenge. Anyway, I'll keep on going. Thanks, guys.